Hey guys, this probably isn't the video you were expecting right now. This isn't the road to Ryzen build video or benchmark video, but this is the where is my Ryzen 9 3900X video. And I've been looking around on the internet and doing some digging, and I'm starting to think, is AMD having yield issues with their seven nanometer process? Let's discuss this a little bit. So, like many of you, I put in a order for a 3900X exactly on launch day, and I've lived through or survived, or whatever you might want to call it, the 1000 series and 2000 series launch, so I knew to place a few order at, uh, orders at a few different web shops to make sure I have this processor and motherboard as soon as I could. I have some, well, I had some video content planned surrounding the new Ryzen series and doing benchmarks and all kinds of other stuff, but that isn't really happening. Why? Well, as far as I've been able to tell, and I've been doing a little bit of digging, no one in the Netherlands has actually received a 3900X from a Dutch web shop, or a 3800X. There have been plenty 3600 and 3700Xs, however. So, digging a little bit further on that, uh, there are some 3900Xs available in Belgium, but they are asking outrageous prices because it's become a scarce product, so I don't think a lot of people are buying those because they're easily asking 20 to 25% more than the processor should cost. Looking in Germany, we see pretty much the same situation as here. It's out of stock and it basically never was in stock. So what's going on here? Was this supposed to be a paper launch? No, because there are people around the world who have 3800Xs and 3900Xs, but those reports are scarce and few in between. But as I said, there are lots of reports of people having a 3600X or a 3700X. So, as I mentioned, I'm kind of pissed off about all of this. I know I shouldn't expect a processor at launch, but in the previous launches I was able to get one. But in this case, no one was able to get one. And I had lots of videos planned and had a few days off of work and, well, that's not going to happen anymore. Fine, I'm over that. But why aren't these processors out there? And I'm starting to think, as I mentioned in the intro, AMD might be having yield issues with their new 7 nanometer processor design. Now, the AMD Ryzen 3000 series, uh, AMD boasted about two things, their new chiplet architecture and their new 7 nanometer process, which is from TSMC, but let's just say it's AMD's process for now. So what they can do with their new chiplet design is basically make a chiplet and then electrically test it to see what clock frequency it can achieve. If it's a high achiever, It'll go to the 3800 and 3900X because those are running at 4.5 and 4.6 gigahertz boost. And if it's a lower achiever or it needs more power to achieve those high clock speeds, they can move it down the stack to a 37 or even a 3600X. So you've probably guessed what I'm getting at here. I think they're having trouble getting chips that have a high enough yield or a high enough uh, tolerance to be able to run the higher clock speeds of the 38 and 3900X versus the lower clock speeds of the 36 and 3700. Now it's logical they'll have more chips for the lower tier because higher tier chips can also function in lower tier, but I think they're getting a lower yield than they were expecting and that might be the reason for the scarcity we're seeing right now. Because this isn't just a normal scarcity, the web shops we're talking about here, each one of them, and I ordered at three, they have all postponed my delivery date three times by now. So first I was going to get it on Tuesday, then it was going to be Friday, then Saturday, and now it's going to be somewhere next week. Other web shops, however, have said, well, it's going to take 14 days or even a month before we're going to get another shipment or even a shipment 
of the 3900X processors. So I'm not doubting that AMD is trying to do everything they can and get these processors to everyone who wants to buy them. I think they just can't produce enough or even a, I guess you could say, normal amount right now because the seven nanometer process isn't as good at the high clock speeds as they thought it would be. Yes, some chips can do those speeds, but a lot higher percentage than those can only do the lower speeds. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think this is total bogus and I'm all wrong? Or maybe I have a point here and well, let's discuss this. I'm Quinder from Intermittent Technology and I hope to see you in the comments or next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.